congratulations on this project. The things I looked forward to, besides the awesome cast, of course, was getting to see Jake the Snake. <laughs> How often do we get that? Jake the Snake was sort of a last minute thing that happened. Um, I think there was another actor we had in mind. Um, I can't remember who it was. Uh, obviously, we shot the movie during the pandemic, and it was it's, it's kind of hard to get people to fly in and stuff like that. Um, just the travel of it was all just sort of tough for everybody. And Jake at that time had, was living in Thackerville, Oklahoma, which was about maybe two and a half hours, two hours south of where we were filming. And uh, our attorney on the film uh, was on set one day, and we were discussing sort of you know the issue that this other actor was having with. Uh, being on set and uh, he's like well what about Jake and uh and I was like okay can we get him and uh he's like yeah you know I'll reach out and it happened to be a day of a really bad ice storm and he still drove up to be in the scene that day yeah mm -hmm. well that yeah. was exciting to see one of my highlights yeah. of several <laughs> now Adam, let's talk about your character. Uh, it's one of those where it's like a bad guy, but we get to see the soft side, the other side that we don't always get to see. So how was it for you to portray both sides? Uh, I, I absolutely loved it. Um, it was a, a very conflicted character. Um, I think he's got a good heart, but uh, he's had a rough go. And I think being able to play characters like that that are kind of lost in the gray is that's more authentic. It's closer to real life, I think, um, than maybe we wish that it was. And I think the, the, the aspects of the character that, that I loved and hopefully audiences will relate to, uh, respond to are, are uh, you know, are the more noble uh, uh, endeavors that he uh, aspires for. The, the relationship with his daughter, the protection of his son, the, the approval of his father. I mean, I, he's a very, very human character. I, I think Kyle did a hell of a job writing him and it was, a, it was an honor to play it. And for you, you get to play you, Haley, you get to play the daughter of this conflicted character. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit about your character a little more? I mean, we got to see you kind of, kind of bruised, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of trying to figure out life. Can you talk a little bit about, about him a little more? Yeah, she uh, Dawn um, has is is feeling a little a little stuck in the life that she's in. Um, she's been kind of beaten down both uh, physically and and emotionally. And um, it yeah, it was it was fun being able to explore like she like to kind of embrace the the anger that she has at at her situation and 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 feeling so stuck. Um, and 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 feeling anger at at Adam was or at you know uh, <laughs> not at at, at, um, at, at her, her dad. Um, it was it was really cool uh, to show up on set and see like what a big heart um, Adam has and and uh, his like the the vulnerability that he showed um, really. But it, I don't know. It felt it felt very it felt very electric in the in the scenes that we had together because there was this like undercurrent of of emotion and vulnerability, and so it made it made the anger that we felt like so I don't so much more potent and everything. If that makes sense. So, yeah, yeah. The piggyback off of Haley. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think in many ways she's sort of the heartbeat of the story, the inner the inner core of it, but, uh, the relationship between Gabriel and Donette in the story, sort of the in her journey there. Now, Kaya, what was one of the scenes that was challenging for you? <laughs> uh, shooting during COVID in general. Uh, I think all of that was tough. Obviously, we shot this as a um, not a huge budget film, right? And just um, I think looking back on it, I think the hardest thing to sort of reconcile was, um, you know, make an indie film you want to you want to make a splash and and i think during that time we shot uh we weren't fully i guess prepared um in the sense that what we were really up against and i think and you know just you know looking back on it i there were certain scenes where i wish we had a uh, more background presence or something like that or um and just certain we weren't able to um 
get certain things we that we could have got if we were shooting now. Um, more presence in the film, in the backgrounds and stuff like that. That is very limiting to the film. What was it like filming the scene and the and the bank? There was like a lot of going on. Um, maybe you both, Kyle, Adam, can talk about the scene. That yeah. also let me refresh. Let me say it showed also more of um, Gabriel's vulnerability. Well, and I, I, I'd speak to Kyle's restraint here because once you've got you get on a set and you get a bunch of guns and everybody's in you know tough guy gear, you could make scenes like that last way too long. Uh, and Kyle had a direct idea of what he wanted and uh, the strength that he wanted to to pursue in, in that vision. So it was very, it was a very disciplined shoot. We, uh, our armorer, Matt Moulton, um, we had done a lot of training with him. So we knew what we were doing when we, when we went in and uh, Kyle on sets kind of three steps ahead of everybody. So he knew exactly what he wanted us to do, laid those marks for us. And then we got to go play. It was a blast. Yeah, and, and yeah, to piggyback off Adam, uh, um, not piggybacking. Yeah, I'm piggybacking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, the action set pieces, you know, compared to the more intimate sort of dialogue moments, you know, we what's great. What to Adam said is we we trained for almost two months before we ever shot the movie on all those sort of action set pieces, and so we were very comfortable when we walked onto that set with what we were doing, where, what beats we needed to hit, who was doing what with the eye lines. And, you know, we didn't get to have all the time and some of the other things, the other dialogue moments and stuff like that. So I had more uh, assurance of going into these sort of more action set piece scenes uh, that we were going to pull it off. And, and uh, just because we trained so much and, and, and to uh, Adam, uh, to speak highly of Adam is in him and Kyle Henry and Wilson Navis and to Matt Moulton Armour, you know, these guys, they went outside of their, out of their way to be open to that training and that rehearsal time that we needed, you know, so it, I think it shows in the film. Mm -hmm. As a viewer, I was so upset to what happened and I was totally rooting for Gabe and the, and the gang because I was like, it could have been a successful robbery. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> yeah because you guys have us like rooting for them at the end like take the money let them take the money <laughs> you start a new life well Haley, Haley, i guess makes out i guess Don't yeah things out. turn out things turn out all for me. <laughs> and and like you say kyle it is it evolves around uh her character and even towards the end i did not expect that ending i was just like whoa what happened? What was the purpose of leaving us hanging like that? Um, I just watched that movie Extraction with Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, my reps actually in, in the other draft, I, without any spoiler alert or anything, but uh, his character, uh, Adam's character, Gabriel, dies. And so I was talking to my reps about it, and uh, they they just threw this out there like Kyle write a, write an alt for the ending and uh flex your because I've been I've been mentioning it several times already that I wanted to be a little bit more artistic in the approach a little bit more poetic and they so they they threw it out there hey write an alternate ending and see how you, you can sort of blend it with the sort of the more, more poetic brush strokes of it and um and I think that's that's what I end up going with well, no, I think it's, it's a good because we, you know, life is not all happy endings. So films can be the same way. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I guess I'll leave it up to the audience to decide what happens. You know, ultimately. Yeah, I won't tell you what I think because I'll be spoiling <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm interested in what you think. I think that. I think that Dawn is living a lie because I imagine who she's with and not, and no, he's the one that took away the family member that she had. You, you think that I might still be with? Mm -hmm. um, hmm. Bad choices. That's you just, uh, uh, the, no, I haven't, this cycle hasn't so been darker. broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my, that's my theory. Mm -hmm. That's a good yeah. theory. Uh, we kind of did that whole black swan fade to white approach, you know, whereas is, is this a, is this the reality or is this the dying man's, you know, wishes for his daughter uh, as he's dying? Is, he's, is he thinking that 
I hope that she gets out, you know, mm -hmm. hope she makes it. But I guess it could be interpreted however you I think a big part of the movie is really is, is about overcoming generational uh, trauma, generational mm -hmm. patterns of abuse or, or, or criminality or whatever perspective, really. Mm -hmm. And so if, if the movie is going to end tr tragically, that is the most tragic ending possible. Yeah. So you the know, cycle like, isn't broken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because that's the idea is that Gabe is hope, hopefully there's been some sort of a uh, a sacrifice that's that's allowed some sort of freedom and, and redemptive quality for him and then a future for her but mm -hmm. what you just laid out for us ma'am is the trapped <laughs> possibility <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's great no it's but it's but it's unfortunately probably more realistic than the other way very true well thank you guys for your time and talk to me about the film um i enjoyed it i enjoy i have appreciation for indie films good content thank you it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Likewise. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye.